For years, the city of Toronto has experienced unprecedented expansion, scrambling to meet soaring demands. What began as fresh developments swiftly morphed into havens for investment, often serving as conduits for illicit funds from abroad, consequently inflating property values. At the heart of this crisis lays a troubling trend. Foreign investors purchasing properties only to leave them vacant, effectively transforming vibrant neighborhoods into ghost towns. These homes, devoid of life, stand as silent monuments to speculation, their owners patiently waiting for the right moment to cash in on soaring property values. Meanwhile, local residents grapple with skyrocketing rents and the now normalized quest for affordable housing, caught in a cycle of uncertainty fueled by distant investors whose actions shape the futures of communities they've never stepped foot in. After talking with the local, we began to realize how big of a problem the city of Toronto and the surrounding areas face. We have probably $300 million worth of property up on top of the hill here that's vacant. I, I, think, it's, I think it's an awful juxtaposition of society. They keep saying what a, what a world-class city this is. And I've lived here a long, long time. This city used to be a world-class city. I've been here since I was 10 and it's falling apart. Those houses are, are like gold. They, they don't lose their value. And, and the people that buy the houses on top of the hill, they, they know that. And so what they do is they just invest in it. And then maybe 10 years from now, kind of like a, a commercial property, they'll sell it and they'll make a lot of money. But in the meantime, they have derelict homes up there. They're not renting them out going to turn into fire hazards they're going to turn into where people go in there that that need homes and you know could trip and fall and go through a floor it's just it's unattentive and it's it's sad welcome to a prime example of the abandoned realm of toronto so we just got inside this beautiful mansion and this is one you guys will not believe I took a quick look around beforehand just to just get an idea of what we're dealing with. Didn't look in too much detail, but there's a home theater and uh, it's beautiful. Anyway, though, these are the front doors. And when I turn around, you guys are gonna be surprised. Let's take a look. Wow. This place does have full power as well. And they will demolish it in the near future too. They just haven't turned off the power yet, but every single light in here works. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. We're getting a beautiful, beautiful entryway to this place. I love the chandelier and the fact that you can turn it on. Where it gives you a good view where it looked like when it was still open and active. But beautiful uh, staircase going down in the basement, the second floor as well. And a bunch of rooms on the first floor too to check out. Let's start with this one right here. I think this is definitely a dining room. Only because the, the kitchen is right over there. And then the chandelier. So the table would probably be right over here. Very cool light though, very unique. Looks like mushrooms a little bit. Some nice custom fitted curtains too. Very gorgeous. And you know, let's walk into the kitchen, see what, see what we're dealing with. Very, very large for sure, no doubt about it. Absolutely massive. And guys, the heating or AC or something like that is on in this home. So there's a constant like buzz. Even the fridge is on too. But yeah, very big island in the middle. We see some uh, papers, some magazines, things like that as well. And uh, yeah. This is probably right here, the informal dining room. And so a lot of these places have dining rooms inside the kitchen just for like informal events. Maybe for like breakfast with your family, that's it. But if they have a large gathering of people over, they'll have it in the main room right there. Beautiful chandelier above though. Two of them as well. And uh, great natural lighting. I love these as well. So, so nice. A good chunk of land as well in the back. Good backyards, fenced in as well. Nothing too big, no pool unfortunately, but 
doesn't matter with this house. This one is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. We have very massive kitchen, as you can see. I love it. Another living room right here. This one has a big fireplace with some beautiful stone around it. And we did check upstairs real quick. One of the, the fireplace, the gas fireplace works. And so there's fire like spewing up. <laughs> it's kind of uh, it's kind of eerie being in here, you know, where everything works and it, it does look lived in uh, other than uh, the lack of furniture. This next room right here must be a, uh, a study or some office room, right? Just because the, the wood paneling, the wood walls, and a lot of the times offices do have these type of walls. So I'm sure there would have been a nice desk, maybe a lot of bookshelves uh, full of books. I'm sure the, the people here were businessmen or businesswoman, very smart for sure, no doubt. And again, I love the look at the main entryway, how beautiful it is. One's over there filming the uh, the room right there, but next living room right here, very very nice. All just saying you're filming the bathroom. Uh, yeah. The no. <laughs> we had beautiful room, very nice flooring. It, it's shiny too. It's clean. It's not even really dusty. Cool reflection. The neighbors just put in the, uh, the opposite driveway. That Audi right there is there, so kind of sketchy. They're still in the car as well. They didn't get out yet. So I don't know what they're doing, but we're going to proceed with caution, I guess. Another beautiful fireplace. Great woodwork around it. And they, I, I just noticed they still have Christmas lights on the tree outside. Interesting. But either way, back here we are, the main room. And uh, now we can either go downstairs or upstairs. However, I did see though, that there was a bathroom right here in this little crevice. So I definitely do want to check that one out, see what's inside. Of course, saw his power. That's so, so cool. Look at that. And I'm sure it's gonna be the same on that side as well. Just a little bathroom and then a closet space as well. Cool mirrors though. Yo, yo, yo. But yeah, here we are. Bro, what do you think of this place? This is like really nice. It must have been recently abandoned. For sure. And judging by some of the stuff that's off and all that, the cobwebs, it's gonna be demolished. Mm-hmm, no doubt. But yeah, now we can either uh, see the upstairs or the downstairs. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to choose. We're gonna see amazing bedrooms upstairs or the amazing things downstairs. I think we'll go downstairs, check that one out. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's up with it. Of course, the lights do still work, as you can see. I don't even need a flashlight in this place. It's a uh, very nice not to have to worry about lighting. Look at that. But it is a pretty big basement. It just starts off with this big room right here, that big living room, but it branches off as you go on, so. Right over here, it's a beautiful wine cellar. Space for probably around 100 wines for storage. And you can definitely see, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff growing upon that. So it's definitely been abandoned or vacant, at least for a long time. Because again, they are going to demolish this property, so, and build something new. The thing with Toronto is that they always, uh, they're always demolishing smaller houses and uh, building bigger things. And so uh, they're just going to build a bigger house uh, in the place of this. Wow, look at this. They had a, this is a fish tank right here. Yeah. No, this is super cool. And it's like attached too. Wow. 
And of course, some bookshelves. Keep some books or uh, maybe a TV. You never know. I feel like this stuff right here was definitely uh, inside the aquarium. Yeah. But one of the best things in this home is bar right here. I love the design of it and the tempered glass over there. Wow. It's so, so nice. I like to see that this plant is still thriving and good. I think it might be fake. Is it fake? Um, it does seem to be fake, yeah. It does look pretty real, though, for sure. Love that design right there. And this still works as well. You can hear the, the little buzz of it. This room right here was probably a gym. Uh, just, judge, just judging by that. And uh, it looks like they would have some equipment, maybe a squad bar right over there. They had some exercise balls as well. Here though, I think I will need my flashlight. So I'm gonna take that out. Yeah, so here we are, the theater. It's right over there. We get a little sneak peek of it, but it is uh, slightly dark. It's dim. So, and the cool thing about this is that all the chairs are still left. A lot of the times in the home theaters, they take out the chairs after it gets abandoned. And so you don't really get a good feel of how the place looks like. But this place, they kept it in and uh, all this equipment is still here. So theoretically, we could even play a movie <laughs> and watch it inside the bando. I love these lights though. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure they'd have a lot of fun times in this property, a lot of parties, a lot of laughs for sure. This was definitely the hangout spot. And as we keep going, this is just a stairway over. I'm pretty sure this leads to the kitchen, but I'm not completely sure. We'll go up there in a second. However, there, there is this one last hallway over here I wanna check out. It seems like just closet space. Maybe a uh, downstairs bedroom. Oh, cool toilet. Cool bathroom. Mm -hmm. Interesting wallpaper and uh, even a candle over there as well. It's a full bathroom as well though. Full bathroom, no doubt. closet space and a little trap a little trap door right there hidden room i guess i think that is all of the basement um very good basement i i did like it for sure i do want to go up these stairs real quick though and see if we missed anything on the first floor before we head over upstairs this is a side door no doubt and a little corridor over to another side door <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay, this is the other side of the kitchen right here. And we actually did miss these rooms right here. So I'm glad we came up. But just a little laundry room, nothing too crazy. Pretty modern machines as well. And a uh, little bathroom. Toilet paper still left. Shout out to that for sure. <laughs> Upstairs, you, you just came down from there, right? Dude, it's so nice in there, dude. There's really? like, um, there's like really fancy bathrooms. Every bathroom is a jacuzzi, even the guest bathrooms. So, really? Uh, you're gonna be in so, for surprise, let me tell you. No Still doubt. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right, let's head upstairs. I love this carpet going up. Beautiful railing, too. Nice uh, color contrast. And this probably right here is the first room we're gonna see. Maybe the master bedroom. I don't know but we're gonna check it out either way.
I even had a fireplace in the bedroom and a beautiful chandelier up top too. And this bedroom had two different parts, right? So that was probably the uh, where the bed was. And you could even see right here where the bed frame was. And then uh, this maybe they probably had a TV up there or maybe a couch, chairs, things like that. Wow, this is definitely what Stringer Media was talking about. Look at this. This bathroom's absolutely amazing. However, before that, I do want to check out this closet. So let's just turn on the light real quick. Oh, that's not for the closet. There probably is a closet light somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> right there. It's so weird just being able to turn lights on and it works. Usually I need to worry about using a flashlight or something, but yeah, <laughs> wow. Imagine the clothes that would have been kept here. They definitely had super fancy things. No doubt about it. Let's turn it off though. We don't want to waste power. And uh, we'll begin our trek into this beautiful room. It's massive as well. Take a look at this. You can take a bath with a nice view of the street out there. Shower over here. Now this, this is what's super cool. This is a gas fireplace. And so that wood is fake. However, if we turn the switch, I'm gonna keep the, the camera facing over here and flip the switch. You can see that. That's so cool. Wow. Yeah, I don't wanna keep that on too much. I don't want an explosion or anything like that. But. It's super cool that that still works and you get a cool idea of how it works as well. Cool sinks and uh, right in this little secluded room is the toilet and the bidet. Hmm. I was just showing you uh, Stringer Media, the, the fireplace that turns on. I thought that was super cool. I don't think you caught that before. But uh, now we have to check out this wing right here of the upstairs. But I do want to take a look. Look at the main way in. Super, super cool. Closer view of the chandelier. And even the star emblem they had over here, which is uh, maybe a family, uh, family symbol. Wow. These lights are super cool as well. I think we could turn them on too. <laughs> we can. That's so cool. Now, we could either go over there or over here to this lonesome bedroom. I think we'll go into this one first, see what's up. Ooh, yeah, beautiful. Let's turn the light on just because we can, you know. Might as well get the best of it. Over there, just a little bathroom, nothing too big. And a big mirror, so I'm, I'm sure they had a dresser over here to uh, maybe do a makeup or uh, make sure you look fine for the day. Let's turn the light on and a uh, pretty cool bathroom. I do like this, it's like green. And even the soap dispenser is cool. Ah, the water doesn't work, that's a shame, but. And uh, right over there, just a little closet space. Let's turn the light back off as we leave and we'll head over to this big section right over here. Now that right there is probably just a little closet. We'll make sure it is because I don't want to miss anything cool. It is just a little closet. Beautiful light up top too. But there's two bedrooms over here and then there's a third one right to the right. Just a simple, probably guest guest room right here. Uh, of course, the basic uh, closet and bathroom setup. But let's go in this room. Of course, light must be turned on. And uh, yeah, here we are. Very cool. Nice black uh, wallpaper. Nice little closet space too. Turn the light on for that for of course. Of course, not as big as the uh, the master one we saw in the other wing, 
However, these are still super nice and they definitely do the job. Wow. Pretty big bathroom too. The beautiful red wallpaper. Cool shower too. Wow. And a pretty new looking uh, toilet with some custom fitted carpet that wraps around it as well. Now let's see if there's anything in these drawers. I don't think there is, but it doesn't hurt to check. No, there's not. Pretty cool though, double sink. Looks super neat. And another view of their property. Now that bathroom connects to two different rooms. This is the second one we just saw the first. And right here is definitely another guest room. The cool TV setup right there. And uh, maybe even a kid room, maybe even a kid's room. I don't know. Just by the, uh, just by this. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like there was some piece of furniture here. I'm trying to figure out what it could have been. Maybe a cabinet. Um, I don't know where the bed would have been. Possibly over there in that corner, but I'm not 100% sure. Beautiful curtains as well. Yeah. Very, very spectacular room, no doubt. And uh, let's go back over here. I just want to make sure we checked everything out on this floor. I think we did. However, I just noticed this. It's an intercom system. And so you could call uh, different rooms of the house and uh, you could talk to whoever's there, you know? That's really cool. A lot of these bigger houses have those. I just want to take a one last view of this room right here. I just noticed those platforms. Maybe a statue where some fancy light would be up there back in the day. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. No doubt about it. I love it. New developments undoubtedly inject vitality into communities and benefit the people who invested in it years before while simultaneously enhancing the appeal of the cityscape through the demolition of validated structures. Advancement signifies progress. However, the question remains, does this enhancement steer us in the right direction?